Hello everyone, welcome back to the Highly Sensitive Healer YouTube channel. My name is Brian. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, share with others, and turn on all notification bells to get alerts from when I come out with new live videos and videos such as this one. With all that being said, this video is just one that's dedicated to simply just me having my anxiety and and honestly not really been able to to sleep much tonight um because my anxiety is just so bad and a lot of that anxiety is centered around financial stuff and you know it's taking a toll on my mental health and you know a lot of that financial stuff is on me it is my fault the pretty much all of it but i can't seem to get a grip on it i can't i can't seem to get a hold of it because i feel like it's just spiraling out of control and you know that you know it doesn't help that everything everything costs so much money anymore just in general but but aside from that you know i've struggled with holding down a solid job and all that and i'm still struggling with that to this day i've been really trying but of late it's been really difficult for me to even take a look at it and and to even set anything up to get a new job because the anxiety is just so bad centered around that and i i I can't pinpoint fully what it is, but like, I keep saying this in videos, but like something has to give now. And I, I don't know, I don't really know what the end result's going to be, but hopefully I can get something worked out and done soon. Um, now I'm not asking for anybody to like kind of make suggestions on what I can do and, and all that kind of stuff. Because honestly, when I read that stuff, that just gives me anxiety as well. And it really doesn't help. Um, although I do appreciate anyone that would try to, I just, I'm not interested in that. I need to get this out for me. I need to talk about this for me because remember, this is my journaling. This is my video journaling. I, I don't, I don't, I don't write in my journals anymore. I mean, not for nothing, but it starts to kill my hand because I'm writing so fast, you know, as fast as I'm talking right now, you know, I'm trying to write, you know, back when I was doing that and it's like killing my wrist and my hand. I just can't do that anymore. And I, I just, you know, it's just not, it's not really enough for me just to write things down. I, I need to get it out on video just as like this. My anxiety is, is, is taking over. It's, it's taking hold of a lot of the things that, you know, especially in the working world and the financial aspect of things. I mean, for a while there, I couldn't even make, I couldn't even look at my financial stuff because my anxiety was so bad just to map it out. And I had to do that because I had to get a plan together. Now that I have a plan together, my anxiety is still through the roof. And even though like I know what I, I should be doing, I then I make a dumb mistake and then I get another bank charge and then I get an overdraw again. And then I'm behind the eight ball yet again, trying to force myself to go and work and, and I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I want to do it. I have every intention to do it, but it's just not clicking right. Something's not giving, something's not clicking and it needs to start to click because as you all are well aware, you need to make money for yourself. You need to make a living. And like, I just really haven't found what it is that I want to actually do. And I've had some really bad experiences, really bad past experiences. That's where all the anxiety comes from. And, you know, I know where it all comes from now, but the fact of the matter is, is the world's not forgiving. Uh, society's not forgiving. Financial stuff, bills aren't forgiving. Um, they don't stop, they keep going. And that's very overwhelming for me. It's, it's creating a lot more depression for me, uh, mental health issues. Um, like I said, even further financial problems. And frankly, you know, it's just getting worse before it's getting better. And it's scary. It, it really is scary. And, and I believe that, you know, society in general, especially in this country, you know, people in places, they tend to 
knock a person down when they're down the, the most. And they just keep beating them and beating them and beating them into the ground instead of offering some help or a break here and there. But that doesn't exist anymore. I don't think it really ever existed. Somewhat, but definitely not anymore. And things just cost so much money. It costs so much money to live nowadays just for one person. Those those people that have a family and children, I, I can't believe, I mean, I can't believe, I can't see how they can even afford to do that and to have children because it's so expensive for everything. And it's just going to keep getting worse before it gets better. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, is we're all not making more money per se. Some of us are getting raises and stuff, but it's minuscule in most industries, most jobs. It's just not adding up. And for me, it's a lot more than that. Now I've been behind the eight ball for so long and I'm trying to like scrape my way out and I can't, I can't even get to the, like floating to the top of, of, of the water or the body of water because I'm drowning so quickly now at this point that it's, I, I just don't know that I'll be able to stay afloat and I don't know how much longer I can stay afloat and I don't really know what the end result of that is and that and I think that that's like that fear of the unknown I know it's not good I know it's not going to be good um and like I said you know the part that sucks the most is I I did I have I'm the one to blame for the for the majority of those financial problems I'm the one to blame, I guess, even for me not being able to hold down a job. But that doesn't solve my problem. That doesn't really get me anywhere. That doesn't bring me back afloat, if you will. It just makes me want to sink down further. And I feel like now I'm almost just taking off my life vest and just saying, F it, then I'll drown. And, you know, that just simply can't happen. That's what I want to say. And that's what I want to do and be like. But that means I'm done for. That means I'll never get out of the hole. I can't keep affording to make the wrong decisions and just sabotage myself in a sense financially, mentally, emotionally. And I just don't know what it's going to take in order for me to grab a hold of that life vest again, put it back on and then start pulling myself out of the water because ain't nobody gonna be helping me and putting their arms out to get me out of that water that's kind of what i'm waiting for and what i've been waiting for but that just that 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 doesn't exist and it's sad that it doesn't exist but also people have their own stuff to worry about and they have their own problems they don't need to be reaching down in the water and trying to pull me out they're sinking themselves or they're just trying to stay afloat themselves and because life's tough now especially now more than ever like i said things all cost a lot of money and you know living costs a lot of money and i just can't imagine you know i just can't imagine like if I didn't have the situation that I have right now, where I'd be, I mean, I don't even want to think about all that. And, you know, I don't really know what the answer is for me. I, I don't, I don't know what the end result is. I have that fear of the unknown, definitely. But, and the anxiety is through the roof. But all I can say to myself and in this video right now is, Brian, it's about time that you start doing something about it. It's about time that you start, you know, 
executing the plan that I, I worked out and wrote and took the time to do and and carry it out somehow, some way and just make it work. And, you know, there's one particular financial situation that's coming up very soon that I need, it needs to, I need to deal with it. And that's stressing me out. And that that's what I think is, it's starting to bury me even more because, you know, I've avoided it and tr try to avoid it. And now it's coming and there is no more avoiding it. And that's what's giving me the most anxiety. And hey, I'm not going to say particularly what that is because that's my business, but I am choosing to share this all with you. So I, I just, you know, I ask that you respect that decision. But I guess let me know in the comments below if, you know, if financial issues are weighing on your mental health and emotional health and how you're going about handling that and dealing with that and kind of where you see yourself in the future when it comes to those financial issues and those mental issues and emotional issues that the financial issues are causing, if that makes any sense. Now, this was just kind of a makeshift video. Uh, so I apologize if it's not formal enough, but you know, this is just how I'm feeling right now and what I wanted to get out there. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Like this video, share with others and turn on all notification bells. Like I always say, I'm going to leave you with what I always leave you with. And that is of course, to be kind to others, but most of all, be kind to yourselves. It's known as self-compassion. Take care, everybody.